This time, I'm gonna show you how to turn any Framer site into a functioning Shopify store. And this walkthrough is actually gonna be me integrating Shopify into a real Framer site. A client of mine, the site already exists and we're just gonna retrofit some shop integration into it. Hopefully it can bring some value to you. Um, with that being said, this integration did take quite a bit to build, so it does cost money, but I've got a promo code for all of the Flux community. You can use uh, the code Flux for a 25% off at checkout. Um, yeah, so let's get started. The first step is to get Shopify set up. Um, this whole integration runs off the Shopify API, so we can uh, do a couple things in the dashboard uh, before we go into Framer. Um, it is a bit of a boring process, so for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. We do have some documentation on our site about how to actually set up this uh, the app on the Shopify side of things um, and then getting the access token, so you get it from the screen after you've gone through those steps. Copy this to the clipboard, save this somewhere. We're going to need it uh, a couple more times in this video. Um, and then same thing for the Shopify domain. Um, that subdomain that's myshopify.com. I'm going to copy this as well. So save those two things, and then basically we can use these to connect Framer to Shopify. So the next step, uh, this one's optional, but if you have a lot of products, this makes your life a lot easier. So you don't have to manually um, set all the items up in Framer. We made a tool basically to export all of the Shopify products into a CSV, and then you can take that and drop it into the Framer CMS. If you have a lot of products, this definitely makes your life a lot easier. But again, if you wanted to manually do that, you totally could. This tool is available at framercommerce.com slash magic dash import. And then you can just drop in your Shopify domain and the storefront API access token that we just got from the dashboard. Once you hit generate, it'll download a CSV and then you can just take that to Framer and upload it. So now it's time to hop over to Framer and we're going to create a new collection in the CMS for the store. You can call it shop or whatever you want. Um, and then basically I'm going to go to edit fields and actually make sure that all of these fields that you see on the screen here um, exist in your, in your Framer site. Um, if you're retrofitting an existing site, you're going to have to make these, but if you are building off of the um, the base file or the Clara template, these will come pre-populated. Um, so yeah, make sure these match one-to-one -one, and then basically you can just hit the import button and hit upload file. Select your CSV and they're all going to be automatically populated here. You'll notice that there are collection tags and product types here. Um, we import all of them because people use them in different ways. Um, not everybody's the same. So I use collection typically, product type, uh, I'm just going to delete this to be honest, same thing with tags, and we'll use collection um, as the way to filter out different types of content. So once I make the shop uh, CMS collection, I've also created just a template for all the shop items. Uh, this is all just native framer right now, there's no Shopify connection yet. Um, but let's add some global components and like start to make these connections happen so we can start talking to Shopify. Uh, if we go to the framer... Um, commerce base template basically all of these components here we can copy and paste so starting with the Shopify wrapper this is the first global component we want to take um, it's invisible so I've just said it's like one to one and absolute um, I'll paste this here and I'll hit edit component and then whenever you edit the component you can just unlike and replace all so you have it locally um, and then inside here basically we have the storefront domain and the access token so I'm going to replace these with the credentials. So I'm going to drop in my domain and my access token here. I just subdued that once, and then now it's in that component. Um, so then on every other page too, I would copy and paste the that shell component. Um, and then we can do the same thing for the navigation. The navigation, um, definitely a lot more to it. Uh, you could just copy and paste over this like parent navigation item. So it has a few things in it. One, it's nested, it has this, uh, the cart inside of it. So this is act as the trigger, as well as that live ca cart counter. Um, and the trigger is for the modal, um, or the overlay. So after you add something to the cart, this will slide out. Uh, you have your dynamic live uh, counter, and then you have your ability to see all the items in your cart and uh, adjust the quantity or remove it, um, see the subtotal, and then the checkout that'll bring you to the Shopify checkout. So all of this will actually just come with you if you copy that, this top component. So I'll just command C that, head over here, I'll command V it. Um, and then basically you have two options at this point for the navigation. Either you can retrofit uh, like the existing navigation into this new one, or you can take the cart component, put it in the old navigation, and then reconnect it and like reassemble the modal. Um, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna hide that old, um, 
old navigation and maybe just steal just these two buttons for now just to keep it simple and again i'll just replace all those uh components so yeah i can evolve this navigation later but for now the navigation and the shopify shell i can take these and copy and paste them across every uh page on the site okay so we can go back to the base file and then we can just grab this um product card and you can grab it as part of the cms collection or you can just grab the um, card itself i'm going to grab it with the cms collection um, and then go back to this document and paste it in and i'll just choose the shop collection that we set up um, and then by default this is a stack going down so now it's a grid this looks better sir i'm filming okay where was i um just dropped in the uh cms with the product card inside um, on this product page, since this is actually related products, um, we're going to add a filter to this. So it's pulling from the shop collection. I'm limiting it to three items right now. And then for the filter, I'm just going to make sure that it doesn't pull in the product that we're looking at. So the filter is that the title doesn't equal the title of the current post or item. So this works now. And then basically you can take this CMS collection with that card inside. And you can paste this on any page and configure it however you want. So that means um, you could set up a shop page and just like remove the filter altogether and just like have all the items. You could have a featured section on your homepage, add a feature toggle in CMS. Um, you can create um, collection pages and have it filtered by collections, et cetera. So I'll do that now. I'm just going to command C this and go to the homepage. And we have on the homepage just a shop section. So I'm just going to paste this in here and then I'll take out that filter that we made um, and I'll take out the the limit to three and we'll just make this a four column. These images aren't going to show up uh, in the preview uh, in the canvas, but um, they will in the live site and eventually they will show up here. Okay, so everything at this point should be functioning. Um, so let's just hit publish and see how it looks. And there we go. We have a Shopify populated product page in Framer. Um, if I hit add to cart, it's automatically going to trigger that modal. We see that's in there. I can add some quantity here. We'll see the subtotal automatically updates in the cart counter. Close it. That counter is there. I can remove it. Yeah, pretty cool. Related products. I can check in all these. Same thing. Um, the only thing now to do is to just update some of these styles. Um, just to better fit in with this uh, aesthetic. So let's do that. And there we go. We have a functioning Shopify store inside of Framer and that feels really good to say. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you can see a lot of potential that Framer has to offer as well as the cool stuff that we're building in Framer Commerce. And on that note, I'd love to see what all of you build with this. Um, you can take again that 25% off at checkout using the code FLUX and happy to answer any questions you have in the comments below um, as well as requests for other videos. Yeah, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.